Hey everyone. In this video, I want to talk to you about the importance of making time for the things that are important to you. People often ask me how I stay consistent with these daily videos, how I have the discipline and the motivation to constantly make a video every single day. But on top of that, how I make my daily reminder videos in the morning, how I make my Instagram text posts and around the afternoon time, and then followed it up, followed up in the evening with my actual long form video. So it's three pieces of content per day that I pump out every day. So I, it is a lot after a while. I mean, you add that up over a year, it's over a thousand pieces of content a year. So it's a lot of things to do, and I do this on a daily basis. But here's the thing, I make time for what's important to me. For instance, right now, I am so grateful I'm visiting family, and today was a busy day. I mean, we went traveling to pretty far away to an adjacent state to go for an awesome hike, and then we went on another hike afterwards, and then we got food, and then we finally came back. But all of that happened over the course of, I want to say, it was about, let's see, it's 6 p.m. right now-ish. That was like... 10 hours. <laughs> so the whole day was 10 hours of us just doing things together with my family. So it was kind of difficult to fit everything in to my schedule today. I made my daily reminder video really early in the morning and I quickly put it out before we left because I knew we were going to be going to places that had no cell reception so I wouldn't be able to put it out later. And then my text posts I made when we were at one place when we were in this one city where I knew we would get some cell service and basically when we were driving to go have food. And then my long form video is what I'm filming right now, even though it's a bit later than I usually film it, but yet again, making time for it. So you just have to fit the things into your schedule that you truly care about, that are important to you. Find ways to make it work. Even if sometimes it's not as fun as it usually is or you feel like you don't have the time to do it, just find a way to fit it into your schedule. Because I do that every single day with all the content pieces that I put out. I mean, even right now, I'm having to deal with the rather hilarious distraction because my parents' kitten, Kiki, is just going ape shit right now with my door because there's, there's something under the door that's used to kind of block noise and also insulate it, keep heat in this room. And right now she's just attacking the crap out of it. <laughs> so now I have that going on. I doubt you could even hear it, but it's pretty funny. So just make time for the things that are important to you. No matter if you have to deal with outside noise or other things, or you feel like you have to really cram them into your schedule because maybe you only have about half an hour of free time to work with, just find time for the things that matter to you. I even talk to people about this when it comes to going to the gym. So many people make BS excuses for why they can't fit a workout into their schedule. But if you play video games for a bit, or if you take time to read, or time to watch TV, or just do whatever, that's time that you could be spending working out. <laughs> so it's all sacrifices. It's all what you're willing to just give up for the things that matter to you or just ways you're willing to fit them into your schedule even if it kind of makes things weird like right now I normally don't like filming at night because look now I have to film inside the house even though there's so much beauty outside but you can't see any of it right now because it's nighttime so I have to film indoors with this rather plain background although that's pretty awesome because you know the Leaning Tower of Pisa and I love Italy so hell yeah anything that relates to Italy is cool with me <laughs> but yeah, so these aren't my ideal filming, I guess. It's not my ideal filming situation, but I'm working with it because I want to make this video. It's important to me to pump these out every single day, to stick to my schedule. And I don't know, it's just fun to get the creative juices flowing. So I do them no matter how I have to arrange my schedule, and no matter how I have to film them in a room using a bunch of lighting, hoping that things look good enough. Sometimes I don't even have a whole lot of time to even prep the video, basically coming up with what I want to talk about. And actually, for the most part, 99% of the time I wing these videos anyway. <laughs> I mean, if I'm going to use any kind of, I don't use scripts at all. So if I'm going to use any kind of help, I just use a, um, like a, an index card with bullet points on it. And I just read the bullet points to, as reminders of what to talk about. And I just 
talk about that, but I don't have scripts. So I literally just wing it most of the time. But I do that because it makes it so I can fit these into my schedule better. If I spent like half an hour coming up with a script every time, then I wouldn't be able to make these as much. Sure, maybe the quality would be a bit higher, but they may lose, may lose some authenticity if I was always using a script, so that part would probably not be worth it. But yeah, sure, maybe I'd be a bit more organized. I wouldn't repeat myself as much, but then I probably wouldn't do these videos as often either. And people also ask me why I don't edit them and that sort of thing, because then I probably wouldn't be able to do them on a daily basis. Sometimes you'll see me make very minor edits, like occasionally I'll say the wrong word because I'm thinking it in my head, but then what the word I actually say isn't the correct one. So sometimes I'll put in an edit and like just with the right word, but that's super easy to do, but I'm not gonna like just slice the crap out of the video, make a bunch of jump cuts, because that would take way too long. I wouldn't be able to make these on a daily basis. Not to mention, I wouldn't be able to do them when I'm traveling then either, because then I would need like a laptop or something, which I don't have. I normally do everything from my phone, which allows me to do it no matter where I'm at. So yet again, just make time for the things that are important to you, but also make them easier to fit into your schedule. Try to get rid of your excuses. Like these daily videos, I made them as easy as possible for me to do. I can do them from anywhere so long as I have my phone, my mic, and my filming equipment. And I mean, I can take them anywhere. I like the stuff that I use for filming can pass through TSA and airports. So I can go, I mean, I have no excuse to not do these so long as I'm actually somewhere where I have my filming equipment with me and I can knock them out. So it's just important that Whenever something is truly important to you, make time for it. Find ways to fit it into your schedule. Just get rid of your excuses. I mean, there's so many times where we, we buy into our excuses and they're not even that valid. Like I said, if you're already spending time watching TV, playing video games, reading a book, or just doing whatever, <laughs> whenever you're not exactly doing something that you have to do, you can use that time to do something else that's more important to you, to make content, to work out, to do whatever it is that's important to you. But you probably have time. In fact, I'm willing to bet all of you have the time to do the things that are truly important to you. It's just a matter of caring about them enough to actually commit to them and do them. So that's the important thing. Just make time for what really matters to you. The same way that I do this on a daily basis for all the content that I make. But Anyway, that's pretty much all I have for you because I'm very tired and uh, I just need to relax now. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if so, make sure to subscribe or follow if you aren't already. Otherwise, the easiest way you can help me out is just to like the video. I mean, seriously, that's the easiest thing to do. Just like it for the algorithm, then share your thoughts in the comment section or share the video as well. And that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Arrivederci!